Franklin and the Green Knight. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He loved warm spring showers, hot summer days, and crisp autumn winds. He also loved the winter because winter meant snow, and playing in the snow made him very happy. One January, when the snow lay deeper and thicker than anyone in Woodland could remember, Franklin was especially happy. Something was about to happen that would change his life forever. <laughs> Making snow angels is fun! Look, look! <laughs> I made a snow angel, too! <laughs> Good one, Snail! <laughs> Snow got in my shell. <laughs> Here, this should keep you warm, Snail. Thanks. What do you think they are? They look like mushrooms. Everybody knows that mushrooms don't have legs. They're snow turtles. The biggest turtle is Dad. This one's Mom. And this one's me. Excuse me. There are only three turtles in your family, Franklin. Who's this? That's not a turtle. It's me, right, Franklin? <laughs> Good try, Snail. But there are four turtles in my family. I mean, there's going to be four. <gasps> you mean? My mom's going to have a baby. Gee. Wow! A baby? Do you know if it's going to be a boy or a girl? It'll be a surprise. Isn't it great? I've always wanted to be a big brother. But why? You've got your friends. Friends are great, Snail. But having a brother or sister, well, that's extra special. Yeah, babies are great. And they're so cute. <whistles> Hello. Everybody knows babies aren't fun all the time. Come on, Beaver. Babies aren't that bad. That's right. Hey, Franklin. I've got a sister, I hug her when she cries. Then when she's feeling better, she hits him in the eye. Fever. Hey, Franklin, I got a brother. We like to play hide and seek. And if you're not too careful, he bonks you on the beak. <laughs> Ow! Beaver. The wonderful thing about brothers and sisters, sisters and brothers are a wonderful thing. The thing we like about brothers and sisters. I can't think of 
anything. Hey, Franklin, you get a brother, he'll think that you're the best. But he can't look up to you if he's sitting on your chest. Hey, Franklin, if you get a sister, she'll do the things you do. But when you teach her painting, she'll end up painting you. The wonderful thing about brothers and sisters, sisters and brothers are a wonderful thing. thing we like about brothers and sisters. We can't think of anything. Now, Franklin, everybody knows the first thing about babies is that they get all the attention. When they're born, they cuddle up close. They're clutchy and clingy, and that's why they're gross. They squirm a lot and scream a lot. They think and drink and stink a lot. They cry they will. and sometimes weep. And the next thing you know, they're sound asleep. And then they'll sob and always spit and bang and stomp and throw a fit. They make all kinds of noise and do. And then it gets all over you. They slurp and burp and are always sucking and clucking and mucking and yucking and gucking. And... Hey! Wait a minute. When I get a brother or sister, I'll be as happy as can be. Even if they cry, whine, slobber, bite, drink, stink, stomp, spit, and goo, they'll still be family. The wonderful thing about brothers and sisters, sisters and brothers are a wonderful thing. The thing we like about brothers and sisters. The wonderful thing about brothers and sisters, sisters and brothers are a wonderful thing. is just about everything. So, when's the baby coming? Mom says the baby's due in the spring. I can hardly wait. Franklin's gonna be a big brother. Big brother Franklin. Big brother Franklin. Big brother Franklin. Big brother Franklin. And so, as much as he loved the winter, Franklin couldn't wait for spring to arrive. Spring, on the other hand, seemed in no hurry at all. January gave way to February, and February to March. But still, Woodland was cloaked deep in a snowy shroud. Franklin's friend, Sam, was very worried. Almost as worried as Franklin himself. <sighs> sure looks like winter's never going to end, doesn't it, Sam? Mom? Dad? Is spring ever going to come? It does seem like we've had a long winter, doesn't it? But what if it never comes? It'll come, Franklin. But the baby's supposed to be born in the spring. If spring's late, does that mean the baby will be late too? No, the baby is due next month, whether spring comes or not. Still, I wish spring would come. Maybe we'll have to wait for the Green Knight to bring spring to Woodland. The Quest of the Green Knight. I remember that story. You haven't read it to me in a long time. Here it is. Your great Aunt Harriet gave me this book when I was a little girl. Great Aunt Harriet always gives the best presents. <laughs> the Quest of the Green Knight. One day, not so near as yesterday, but not so far as a long time ago. There was a not too tiny village in a land fairly far away. Nobody knew why, but winter had lingered far too long. Indeed, spring was long past due, and the people were very worried. If we can't plant our crops for the summer, we'll starve come the winter, the people cried. Brave knights came from far and wide, all pledging to bring spring to the village. Hooray for the brave knights, the people cheered. But although they tried very hard, the brave knights failed in their quest to bring spring. We're doomed, the people cried. 
but all was not lost. For in a castle overlooking the village was the bravest knight of all, the Green Knight. Look, Mom, the Green Knight really is green. Just like a certain turtle we know. <laughs> Alas, Green Knight, I fear we will all go hungry, said the squire. I fear at nothing, squire, said the Green Knight. And so the Green Knight and his faithful squire ventured forth searching for spring. I will bring spring to this sad and gray place, for I am the bravest knight in all the land. The people will cheer no one but me. Methinks we may have taken an unwanted direction, sire. And methinks I hear something. Or someone. Hark, squire. Someone needs my help. Charge! Very good. <laughs> Charge! Release that goblin immediately! Yes, yes. And now I must be off. Spring still eludes us. Squire! Sire. Wait! If it is spring ye seek, then let me repay you for saving my life. For deep in the forest, where the sun rises and the rainbow ends, is a cherry tree as old as time itself. Take of its blossoms and scatter them about thy land. Spring will come. Point us in the direction, goblin. The Green Knight's close to finding spring, isn't he? <laughs> Very close. The Green Knight followed the goblin's directions and came upon a tree bursting with magic cherry blossoms. Squire? Sire. What joy to touch the heart of spring. Suddenly, a voice came from nowhere and everywhere. Halt! Who goes there? Right? Close. Halt. I am the guardian of the tree. <laughs> Who dares to approach? I am the Green Knight. I have come to take thy blossoms so that my country may finally see spring. These blossoms are not yours for the taking. You must prove yourself worthy, Green Knight. Gosh! Oh, my lord, said the squire. This is the most fearsome of dragons. I feareth nothing. My lance, squire. Charge! Oh! Hide. It is like armor. No lance can penetrate it. <laughs> Hark! This dragon's tail is not covered in armor. Wait a minute. Frogs don't have teeth. <laughs> You're right. Sire. Squire. <laughs> Now my country will know that I, the Green Knight, am the bravest, most heroic knight of all. So it is glory you desire, not your people's good. You may have defeated the dragon, Green Knight, but alas, you are not worthy. You are right. What does the tree guardian mean? He means that sometimes doing something good isn't enough. If you're doing it for the wrong reasons. So what did the Green Knight do? The only thing he could do... 
I am not a true knight. A true knight acts with a true heart. But, sire! Prithee wait, Green Knight. With those words thou hast redeemed thyself. You may take the cherry blossoms. Thank you, Guardian of the Tree. You are wise and you are kind. Goodbye, Green Knight, Squire. Fare thee well. And so, the Green Knight and his squire hurried home and cast the blossoms upon the winter wind. Farewell, winter. We bid thee welcome, spring. beamed with joy, for he had let spring's beauty enter his heart. The end. Wow! What a great story! Can you read it again, Mom? Can you? Please? Maybe tomorrow, Franklin. Right now it's time for bed. Oh, I'm not sleepy. But I am. Good night, Mom. <laughs> We sure could use the Green Knight right about now, huh, Sam? fly my kite. I get to ride my scooter. We can all go bike riding. And flower picking. No more boots and scarves and mittens. <sighs> you know why I like spring? Spring is when the sap runs in the maple trees. And that means maple syrup. And spring is when mom will have the baby. I hope spring never comes. But I thought you said spring is your favorite season, Snail. Not anymore. <gasps> Wouldn't it be nice if these were real tulips? Paper flowers aren't quite the same, are they, Badger? Now, class, even though there's still snow on the ground, I thought we could start planning this year's spring celebration. <laughs> Suggestions, anyone? Me, me. Bear? How about a bake sale? Excellent idea, Bear. Anyone else? Beaver? What about a maypole, Mr. Owl? We could decorate it with flowers and ribbons, and everyone can take turns dancing around it. I can wear my tutu. <gasps> That's what real dancers wear. Good, Beaver. Anyone else? Franklin? How about a play, Mr. Owl? My mom read me this great story last night about a knight who brings spring. Ah, yes. The Green Knight. That'd make a great play. The Green Knight? It's one of my favorite stories. All right. The class will present the Quest of the Green Knight. But who'll play the Green Knight, Mr. Owl? I think Franklin should. 
It was mm. his idea. And I am green. Class? Sounds good. Sure. Okay. Yes. Then it's settled. Franklin will be our green knight. <laughs> Do you think spring will come soon? Mr. Owl thinks so, and he knows everything. I don't see anything but snow. Snow. And more snow. Yay! Snow, snow, and more snow. You know, it must be the snow hiding spring. We've got to search far and wide. High and low. Search for a place that doesn't have snow. Bring on the air and bring up the sun. Let's bring in the spring and set that cold stuff on the ground. All of us search for one special thing. Cause we hope to find the first sign of spring. Everybody now. Just asleep. That's it, Beaver. We have to wake her up. Wake up, Spring! Wake up, Spring! Wake up, Spring! Wake up, Spring! Wake up! Wake up! Knock, knock. Who's there? <coughs> Granny! You didn't tell me you were coming. I thought you could use an extra hand around the house. And of course, there's the baby shower. How can you wash the baby if it isn't even here yet? A baby shower is a party, Franklin. There'll be cake and punch and presents. It's like an early birthday party for the baby. The baby. Just think, Franklin. Very soon, you're going to be a big brother. Yeah, I am. Now, who's for some fly stew? Me, please. Yes, please. I'll have a bowl. One good thing. 
talking about the long winter, Franklin. Your snow turtles have lasted a long time. There is nothing good about winter, Rabbit, when it's this long. Guess what? We're having a party tomorrow. Are we invited? Well, no. If you're having a party, why aren't we invited? I think it's only for grown-ups. Your family's not having a baby shower, are they? What's wrong with a baby shower? The baby's not even born yet. And already your family's throwing parties for it? Enjoy your parents while you still can. What does that mean? Listen, Franklin. The shower's just the start. Once the baby's born, your mom and dad will be so busy, they won't have any more time for you. A baby is always the center of attention. Grown-ups can't help it. They go gaga over babies. Gaga. Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> This is so exciting. Oh, how nice. <laughs> Babies are so darling. They smell so nice with that special baby smell. I smell nice. Oh, I love babies. Presents! Maybe one of them is for me. Four baby turtle. Two baby turtle. Baby turtle. <sighs> All these presents are for the baby. Oh, Franklin. Hi, Granny. Isn't it wonderful? Soon I'll be a grandmother again. But you're my Granny. Aww. Oh, my goodness. Look how tiny these little booties are. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Fox. You're welcome. They outgrow clothes so quickly, sometimes you wish they just stay babies and never grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Beaver was right. Grown-ups do like babies best. <laughs> Nobody's paid attention to me all day. <laughs> and it'll be worse when the baby gets here. Oh. oh! Oh, how adorable! This will have to go in the baby's crib. Which you should be putting up soon, don't you think? There's plenty of time. Spring's not here yet. I hope it comes soon. We've had winter for far too long. April showers bring me flowers! Oh! <laughs> I hope. I'd be happy if it rained. It would at least be a sign that spring's coming. Mm -hmm. Boy, everyone sure looks worried. Speaking of spring, the class has been working very hard on their spring presentation. The Quest of the Green Knight. The children are coming to our house first thing tomorrow morning to work on the backdrops. I've got some green paint you can use for the grass and flowers. But it would be nice if we had real grass and flowers instead of painted ones. What we need is spring. If only the Green Knight could rescue us. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. oh, yes. Indeed. That's it. I'll bring spring to Woodland. Everybody will be so proud of me. Dad, do you know if there are any old cherry trees around here? Well, when I was a boy, your granny took me cherry picking in an old orchard near a lake by the mountain. Near a lake by the mountain. Thanks, Dad. Cherry sweeter than candy. When it's cherry season, we should go there. <laughs> Granny, if I was going to look for a squire, where would I find one? Well, I'm not sure. A squire is someone who travels with you. Like a friend? Like a loyal friend, standing by you through thick and thin. Mom, what else did the Green Knight need besides his sword and shield? Well, I expect he probably took some food to eat. That's right. Food. 
Would you like some cookies before you go to bed? Franklin? Well, at least he left one for me. It's morning, Sam. Time to get ready. Green night to the rescue! In just a few hours, spring will be here. And it'll be all because of me. Huh. The green night is off now, in search of a squire. Bye, guys! house too? Uh-huh. What's that? Franklin's mitten. I'm returning it. Well, you better hurry then. I hear Mrs. Beaver's baking muffins. I'm going as fast as I can. You know they taste best when they're fresh out of the oven. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, and there was that baby shower yesterday. Maybe Franklin will bring some leftovers for us. Hey, Bear! Wait for me! Bear? <sighs> I'll never make it to Beaver's house on time. You're really lucky, Baby Turtle. You're gonna have a big brother who'll make sure you're never late for school or parties. He'll help you with your homework and he'll play fun games with you. <laughs> but most of all, you're lucky because you'll have Franklin. <laughs> Snail? What's the matter, Snail? Nothing. I, I've got something in my eye. Here's your mitten back. Thanks. Franklin, do you think you can take me to Beaver's house? Sorry, but I'm not going to Beaver's house. You're not? But you're dressed for the play. Not for the play, Snail. I really am the Green Knight. Really the Green Knight? Yep. And I'm going to find spring. Wow. If you bring spring to Woodland, you'll be a hero. Oh, well, I'd better get going. If I'm lucky, I might get to Beavers before the end of the day. Good luck, Franklin. Wait, Snail. The Green Knight needs a squire, you know. Would you like to be mine? Really? You want me to come with you? Of course. I hereby dub thee Squire Snail. Rise, Squire Snail. <laughs> what is your bidding, O Green Knight? I bid thee be brave as we search for spring. Another muffin bear. Thanks, Mrs. Beaver. Franklin better get here soon, or else there'll be no more muffins left. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad to see you're enjoying them. Where is Franklin anyway? I know turtles can be slow, but he's never this late. He's probably helping his parents clean up after yesterday's baby shower. Ready for the best fly flapjacks in the world? I am, son. But it looks like we're missing two sleepy heads. Ah, here's one now. Has anyone seen Franklin this morning? He's not in his room. Then where can he be? 
Mr. Owl did say that the class would be working on the spring show today. Yes, the Green Knight rescues us all from a long winter. It's just not like Franklin to leave the house without telling us. He probably wanted to get an early start. You know how children can get. Take that, then that, then that. Every day a big adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Where to, Green Knight? Dad says there's a cherry orchard near a lake by the mountain. And this is the way to the mountain. Or is it that way? <sighs> Sorry, Snail. Guess I don't know what direction to take. In the story, a goblin tells the Green Knight which way to go. Yes, but who's going to tell us? like it's gonna be a nice day. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Help? Help? <sighs> Looks like we won't find spring today, Snail. Hark, Squire! Someone needs my help! Charge! Oh, why, 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 why didn't I stay in bed? What was that? Who, who's there? Green Knight to the rescue! <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Were you the one calling for help? Me? Call for help? Does it look like I need any help? <laughs> it looks like you're stuck. Stuck? Preposterous. Why, I can pop right back in any time I feel like it. I just don't feel like it right now. Are you sure you're not stuck? Even a little? Well, maybe just a little. Never fear. I'm the Green Knight, and I'm here to rescue you. We're here to rescue you? We're here to rescue you. Excellent. Now, why don't you... Here now, <laughs> let go of me. Let go! Don't you want to be rescued? Of course I do. It's just that... You might have more luck pulling from the, um, wider end. Oh. <laughs> Around the back. Door's unlocked. <laughs> this doesn't look easy. If he got stuck, we can get him unstuck. Pull? Pull. Whoa! <laughs> that tickles! Sorry! <laughs> A thousand and one thanks. You're welcome. I'm Mr. Gopher. I'm Franklin, the Green Knight. And that's... <laughs> Squire Snail. Are you all right, Mr. Gopher? Never been better. But I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't come along. What can I do to repay you, Green Knight? Well, we're looking for an old cherry orchard near a lake by the mountain. Do you know which path will take us there? I know the very orchard. Take the path on the right. Thank you, kind sir. Come, squire, we must make haste. Bye, Mr. Gopher, and thanks. Goodbye, and thank you. 
By the way, Green Knight, I like your costume. Oh, and don't forget to stay on the path. You don't want to get lost now. What brave and noble gentleman. Uh oh. Take the path on the right. It sure was lucky that Mr. Gopher told us which way to go, huh, Franklin? Yeah. It was just like in the story, Snail. The goblin told the Green Knight which direction to take. But that was a gopher, not a goblin. Maybe the goblin disguised himself. <clears throat> anyway, his secret is safe with me. You mean us? I mean us. the goblin from the story, then where was that big animal the Green Knight had to battle? Uh, it's just the wind. Franklin, I'm scared. You're safe with me, Snail. The Green Knight fears nothing. Except maybe that. <laughs> I don't see it anymore. Neither do I. But now I think we're lost, Snail. Lost? In the woods? <gasps> a turtle with a snail on his back? I have seen many interesting things, but this is a first. You're the monster the Green Knight has to battle, aren't you? Monster? Green Knight? I am not a monster, young one. I am Eagle, and I have no wish to do battle with you. You don't? No. Now tell me, what is it you are doing here so deep in the woods? We're looking for an old cherry orchard. It's near a lake by the mountain. I know the one. It is on the other side of the mountain. The other side? Yes. It will be better if I take you there. Look, Beaver. This is going to be our dragon. Roar! Roar! Rabbit, you're supposed to keep up. Oops. <laughs> Neat, guys. Hey, what do you think of these cherry blossoms? They look great, Badger. What do you think of my griffin mask? It looks great too, Goose. Your wings look like they could really fly. I wish I really could fly. Look at me, guys! I'm flying! I'm flying! I'm flying! I'm flying! I'm flying! Um, we are flying! <laughs>
young ones. What is it, Eagle? My eaglets are calling for me. Wow! You're a mama, Eagle? Yes. I must leave you now. Will you be all right? Of course. I'm the Green Knight. Well, Green Knight, this brook leads to the Cherry Orchard. If you need my help, just raise your voices to the wind and I will come. Good luck! Goodbye! Thank you, Eagle! Let's go, Squire Snail, for I, the Green Knight, must bring spring to poor gray woodland. Don't you mean we, Franklin? And couldn't we just rest here for a minute, please? But we're so close. <sighs> if you're in such a hurry, why don't you go find spring yourself? Okay, I will. You will? The Green Knight can bring spring all by himself. Wait here. I'll pick you up on my way back. But Franklin! Just like I thought. Now that Franklin's going to be a big brother, he doesn't need me anymore. I guess he doesn't need me anymore. I guess I'm just getting it. When he has a little baby, I really wouldn't matter anyway. I guess I'll have to do it on my own. I guess I'll have to do it my own way. I guess when mom and dad get their baby, I'm gonna be alone then. If someday he will remember I wonder if they'll stop and think of me I wonder what I'll do tomorrow I'm gonna be alone, it's plain to see I'll miss riding up there on his shell Just afraid to be alone. I guess that's just the way it's gonna be. I think I'll go and find my best friend Snail. I guess we'll be alone, just him and me. I wonder if someday he will remember. I wonder if someday. Think of me. I wonder what I'll do tomorrow. We're gonna be alone, just him and me. I wonder what I'll do tomorrow. I'm gonna be alone, it's plain to see. <gasps> back when I saw you in trouble. On your way back? To apologize. I'm really sorry I left you behind, Snail. Do you forgive me? Well... Please? Okay, I forgive you. 
Besides, every green knight needs his squire. <laughs> Sire. Squire. We're here, Snail. I did it! I did it! I found the magic cherry tree! Uh, we found it. Hey! Stop! Cut it out! What was that? I don't know. But... I think it's gone. Think you can sneak up and steal my eggs? I'll show you. Ah! Whoa! Stop, we're not! Ah! Oh! No one gets past me, you just stay away. Franklin, do something! Get me out of front, do you hear me? Ow! <gasps> I'll peck you again if you don't stay away from my age, you big bully! This must be the guardian of the tree. She's small, like me. She must be really powerful to be guarding such a big and important tree. Er, your guardianship? We don't want your eggs. Well, then who are you? Where are you from? What do you want? This must be a test to see if you're a worthy knight. I am Franklin, the Green Knight from Woodland, and this is Squire Snail. Hi! We come from a place where it is still winter. We seek cherry blossoms from your tree. Oh, Guardian. What's with this Guardian stuff? I'm Mrs. Warbler. Then you aren't the Guardian of the tree? Well, I am guarding my eggs, and they are in this tree. I... I guess you could call me that. Why do you want the cherry blossoms? With these blossoms, I will bring spring to woodland. Then everyone will think I'm the bravest and the greatest and pay attention to me. That's not a very good reason for wanting the blossoms, Franklin. Yes, but... You're acting just like the Green Knight did in the story. Selfish. Hold that thought. Is this gonna take long? It's lunchtime, and I'm feeling mighty peckish. Watch my eggs, will you? Franklin, I thought you wanted to bring spring to save Woodland. Um... I'm going to watch over the eggs like the Guardian asked. If you're not careful, the Tree Guardian is going to think you don't deserve any cherry blossoms. I deserve them. This should keep them warm. crying. <laughs> Maybe it's a trick. Hey, you! Leave my baby brother alone! Are you okay? You tell my baby brother you're sorry for scaring him. Your baby brother scared my friend, so he should be saying sorry. What's that in your hand? Uh, my sword. It's, uh, only made of paper. See? Well, you should be careful with that thing. No! You could poke somebody's eye out. It's mine! Give it to me. Leave my Franklin alone! <laughs> ah! We thought your brother was a dragon. A dragon? Are you kidding? I'm Franklin, and this is Snail. Sorry if we scared your brother. Yes, sorry. That's okay. I'm Armadillo. I told you not to run off while I searched for ants. But I was hungry. Would you like some cookies? These ones have flies in them. What 
do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. Taking care of your baby brother, don't you? Sure. I guess. You know, I'm going to be a big brother soon. No kidding. Bet your parents spend a lot of time with the baby instead of you. Babies are pretty helpless. They need the attention. <sighs> Are you worried that your parents won't have time for you when the baby comes? I guess I am kind of a little worried. That's okay. <sighs> hey, who do you love more, your mom or your dad? That's a silly question. I love them both. Exactly. And my parents have plenty of love for both me and my little brother. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Right? Right. We better get going. Mom will be looking for us. Good luck, Franklin. Bye, Armadillo. Bye. And thanks. Franklin, are you really worried your parents will have time for you when the baby comes? <laughs> uh-huh. That's funny, because I was kind of worried, too. You were? I thought you'd be too busy being a big brother to be my friend. That's not going to happen, Snail. Sure, sometimes I'll be busy with the baby, but we'll always be friends. You'll always be the bravest and the greatest to me, Franklin. Mmm, mmm, that hit the spot. First worm of the season, delish. I see you've taken good care of my eggs. Yes. We'd better get going now. But what about the cherry blossoms? I don't deserve any blossoms. You were right, Snail. I was acting like the Green Knight. Selfish. Wait! I thought you wanted to bring Spring to Woodland. I do. Everybody in Woodland is so worried about Spring not coming. I wish they didn't have to worry anymore. Well, now, that's a very unselfish thing to ask for. It is? Yes. Very, very unselfish. I'd say you've proven yourself more than worthy. <clears throat> oh, Green Knight, as guardian of the tree, I give you permission to take as many cherry blossoms as you need. Really? Yeah, knock yourself out. What do you think of this for the knight's armor? Maybe you should get plastic garbage lids, Bear. They're not as noisy. Sounds like a lunch gong if ever I heard one. We've brought lunch for everybody. Thanks, Mrs. Turtle. Where's Franklin? We thought he was with you. We thought he was here helping. Where can he be? Last night, he asked me where he could find the oldest cherry tree. He asked me where he could find a squire. And he asked me what the Green Knight took on his journey. Snail's not here either. Maybe he's with Franklin. Don't worry, dear. I'm sure they're all right. We made it. Wow. This sure is a big mountain. It's so beautiful up here. I can see all of Woodland. Hello! 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 <laughs> we better get going. We've got to get these blossoms back to Woodland. Whoa! Be careful, Franklin. I'm always care. Whoa! <gasps> Ah! Whoa! Are you okay, Snail? This is fun! <laughs> Whee! Uh oh. <gasps> Hang on! Ah! Ah! Good one, Franklin. 
probably took this road. The old cherry orchard is just a couple of miles beyond this point. We should split up, in case they're on their way back. Good idea. I'll help. Yes, we want to look, too. Me, too. Look out! Hello! We're coming in for a landing! It's Franklin and Snail! Are you hurt? Nope. I'm okay, Mom. Who's this? <gasps> Everybody? This is Eagle. <laughs> she is really nice. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Eagle. Hi there. Hello. Thank you for bringing Franklin back to Woodland. We were starting to get very worried. I'm glad to have helped. And now I must fly. I have my own eaglets to attend to. Spring. Franklin. But I thought spring would just appear. Oh, Franklin, that was just a story. But your heart was in the right place, son. <sighs> Maybe spring will never come. Whoa! Franklin, look! The cherry blossoms did work. Spring is coming. A crocus! Wow! Amazing! You did it, Franklin! You too, Snail. Um, excuse me, but there's still snow all over the place. Spring's not here yet. Yes, Beaver, but at least it's a start. See? Another sign of spring. Ha, 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 ha. 
Excellent work. I truly believed you were the Green Knight, Franklin. He put his whole heart into it, didn't you? I sure did. Oh, my. It's time. It's time? Oh, my gosh. It's time. Time? Time for what? Uh, the baby, Franklin. Dr. Bear, it, it's time. We'll see you soon, Franklin. Don't you worry. Your mom and dad will soon be home. You're going to be a big brother. Great Aunt Harriet sent this mobile, Sam. I hope the baby likes it. They're still not home yet. What's taking so long? You've been very quiet all evening. They've been gone for hours. How about we take a little walk? I have something to show you. Those are new stars being born, Franklin. Close your eyes, and I'll catch one for you. <laughs> you can't catch a star out of the sky. You can open them now. When I was a little girl, every spring we would light a candle, make a wish, then place our wishes on the water to float away. Wish I may, wish I might, see my family home tonight. Franklin, I'd like you to meet your new baby sister. She's so small. But she'll get bigger, just like you did. <laughs> the baby really likes Great Aunt Harriet's mobile. Yes. I think she does. Have you got a name for her? Ooh, lots of ideas, but... I know. What about Harriet? Great Aunt Harriet always gives the perfect present. She gave you that Green Knight book, Mom. And she gave the baby this mobile. And, well, the baby is like a perfect present.
I think it's a lovely idea. Harriet, it is. Do you remember bringing me home from the hospital? It's a day I'll never forget, my green knight. Oh, I almost forgot. This is for you, Harriet. By the way, I'm Franklin. I'm your big brother. Come into my house 